an aromatherapist, an author. She's the author of the 21 Day Superstar Cleanse. Rainbow Mars is visiting her Colorado hometown this week, <laughs> and we asked her to stop by the Colorado's Best Studio to show us how to plant the seeds of health and wellness in our own backyards. Yay, well, so good to see you so again. much for having me back. I love you, <laughs> all, everyone here. So well, thank you, everyone. <laughs> good morning. Known Rainbow such a for years. Energy, yes. Yeah, she's come on the show quite a bit. You're such an expert yes. at everything you know that's health and wellness and fitness as well. So you say it's time to get off the grass. <laughs> get what off does your that grass. mean? What does that that mean? Well, the lawn actually came about because in England it meant you could afford an outside doctor. So it was a status symbol. And <laughs> right now, a third of our nation's water goes to watering the lawn. The gas that we're using is polluting the air. We all know about carbon poison in the air at this point. Grass clippings are filling up our land fillers. And really, we could be growing things that we wouldn't have to drive to the store to get that are going to be medicine and food. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to sequester carbon which keeps the oceans from turning to acid. Does everyone want an ocean in no, 20 years? Absolutely. I want an ocean. So it's about being the solution. It's also really important for the bees, which are responsible for our food. So what, what be are the your garden. Best, what are your best suggestions for if someone wants to try to start transforming yeah. their lawn into more of an edible garden? Uh, where, would, where should they start? Well, you start with where, whatever you have. I've actually done it to three homes. And you start with not having your grass, you can actually, I mean, I love grassy places sometimes to chill. A good option for that would be clover or barley grass, things that are actually are edible and that the bees love. But taking out your grass with, uh, you can also hire an edible landscaper to help you. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that everyone has to do it on their own. I de definitely didn't do it all by myself. And then the next step is you put compost down. So you can buy compost in the beginning from a store when you get organic compost. Compost mm -hmm. is the soil with the micronutrients, with the minerals that are so depleted on our earth that we are depleted. So starting with a layer of compost, then you put a drip system down. Again, that would be, you would need help with that. But that reduces 80% water consumption instead of sprinklers. Mm. And then you're going to plant seedlings of organic plants, um, not things that need pesticides. The healthier the soil, the healthier the plants, the foods. And you can also obviously plant seeds, and the seeds go right next to the drip irrigation system. She makes Seems it sound easy. so easy. I know. I know. I'm like, I am going to need help with that. But do, am I reading this right? You say, uh, why should you plant weeds instead of removing them? Are you serious? I'm so serious. Why? God, it's so, it, we have it all wrong. Mother Nature is an incredibly intelligent, she, I mean, we get everything from her, all of our food and, and medicines and plants, and she knows what we need a lot of. Yeah. And dandelions are the things that people are pulling out and spraying, and actually it's the best diuretic, it's good for the liver, it's good for, uh, it's good for depression, it's good for anger, it's very high in protein, super nutrient rich. And we, we keep trying to get rid of them, and we're actually spraying things that are not just killing the bees, but also the, the worms. And, mm -hmm. and again, the bees are, are pollinators. And so if they die, we're not going to have food. <laughs> so <laughs> we, want, okay, so we yeah. want the dandelions. They're actually like they irrigate the soil. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have a whole spread of it. I think we're going to go a little bit more into wild edibles. I hope so. Let's do it. Um, well, okay. Well, so dandelions, nettles is something that we're always trying to get rid of because it stings you. And I'm going to be so brave to pick a nettle. This is a, and this is a nettle. It's a pretty this leaf. This is a stinging nettle that people are trying to get rid of. I also have here yarrow, lavender, rose, echinacea, lemon balm, melissa. Um, it's, it's, a, it's also good for depression. So these are the types of things that we could be growing, not using our gas to go to our car and get our medicines, our herb teas. You could also be growing foods like kale or tomatoes. And every time that we are regenerating our soil. Mm -hmm. We're creating photosynthesis. There's actually a, like a delivery system where the worms are drawing carbon out from uh, the, through the plants into the ground. So this is helps sequester carbon. But okay, onto nettles. This is a form of, it keeps us away. Our topic today was beauty. So this is well, maybe beauty help and you wellness. avoid. I, I wish we had more this time. This might help rainbow. you avoid injections. Yeah. So nettles is also good for blood building. It's uh -huh. good for right. breastfeeding. It's good for iron. A lot of things. Lemon so balm is good for things. So she gave me a wonderful drop because I have this terrible the cough. cough. Yes. And yes. what was that made of? That was On Guard, which is on clove, guard. cinnamon, eucalyptus, and okay. rosemary. It's doing its work I'm already. I'm sorry, we've Feel got it? our show's ending, That's so but good rainbow. Though. So it's she all has about, yeah, the weeds living and yes. getting off the grass. All right, she has a special offer for Colorado's best viewers. Uh, go to our website.